18.29. Wrong. 18.30. Nope, still wrong. Put in 18.289. It might be a rounding error. It won't let me put in anything past the second decimal. Well, I guess we're wrong. Hey guys, the professor finally emailed us back. It is 18.289. His program just has a bug. He's the one with the bug. Someone should build something that understands how incredibly frustrated I am right now. I know what my dad would say. Technology should make things easier, not get in the way of learning. My research now focuses on understanding moments like this one and building learning technologies to avoid them. When I was little, my favorite thing to do was to ask my dad why, until he gave up. He never did. If he didn't know the answer, we'd find out together. Sometimes we went to the library. Later, we went online. He's an immigrant from Mexico and learned English by listening to lessons on vinyl records. I learned English from him. Some kids grew up watching ESPN with their dad. I watched PBS with mine. We'd sit on the couch and watch how NASA saved the Hubble Space Telescope on NOVA. I was curious about the folks who turned to an interviewer to talk about something complicated. Why do they get to talk about science? Because they're professors, my dad replied. What's a professor do? A professor is a person who teaches at a university because they know a lot about a subject. At that moment, I decided I wanted to learn enough about a subject to be interviewed about it one day. After college, I taught 6th and 7th grade in an underserved school in East Palo Alto. My students were great. The technology wasn't. I brought in my own custom-built computer to the classroom so I had at least one piece of reliable technology. My dad taught me how to build computers. One of my students could only read at the second grade level. I found a digital version of the textbook that could read aloud to him. My student listened to a robot voice reading science to him and could ask questions like the rest of my students. My dad was a small business owner. I spent summers at Abacus Sales repairing office equipment. Did you know that in a pinch, you can use a pair of scissors to unscrew a Phillips head screw? It's not pretty, but it works. Doing that, my dad pointed out, can tear apart the screw. So do it if you have to, but it's always better to have the proper tool for the job. If you don't have it, find it. If you can't find it, build it. Thank <laughs> you.